Hi, I'm Stefan Valeril and I would like to, uh, to, to do a quick overview uh, on the new version of Animcooler 2. So, as a reminder, Animcooler 2 is the companion of AnimDescent 2. So, first you draw your animation, you, you, you draw your rough animation, after that you clean up uh, your keyframe, you clean up the, uh, the in-between, and when you finalize, when you decide uh, the, the animation is, is finalized. After that, you jump in AnimCooler 2, especially if you have, uh, if your style, uh, your animation style is a more cell animation style. So with, uh, with a pure line and with a relatively uh, flat, uh, you know, uh, uh, color and shadows. So that's the main purpose of AnimCooler 2. So, like AnimDescent 2, it's completely new version in HTML, and uh, the, the tooltip you can see there is not native. Uh, so, you have access to these tooltips only if you open a little bit the... Uh, you, um, you expand a little bit the, the, high, uh, the height of the panel. If you reduce the size of the panel, uh, that disappears because you're hiding let me just do that. You simply hide the tooltips. Um, also, uh, I just built for AnimDescent to a user guide, and in uh, my uh, aggregator link uh, links regarding uh, uh, my animations uh, animation panels, you'll find AnimDescent to user guide there, which is. Uh, um, which is full, so you have uh, the English version of, uh, of a table describing uh, what it is, and you have a French version too, and um, and uh, it's not complete yet. I already put uh, the right thing at the right place, uh, but when this video will be public, normally you'll find also a version of uh, the user guide uh, of Anime Cooler 2. So, Come back to the overview. So imagine this is a beautiful animation of a character moving, etc., etc. And let's focus on his uh, patatos head. Uh, so here, first, um, you need to have your your player at the, at the beginning, uh, and you just click on these buttons. I create for you an, an empty video layer uh, at the bottom of your uh, layer stack. Uh, here. Uh, as an important information regarding the panel. Uh, free button this panel use some um, presets, some tool presets. And in fact, you could identify this tool uh, because that's uh, it's look like the regular icons of, for example, the, the pencil tool, the magic one tool, but you have a circle on it. This circle mean that's a preset. So my installer, when you install an Cooler 2, my installer um, you know, copy uh, this uh, this tool sets uh, at the right place in in your Photoshop uh, folder. But you need to load the tool by yourself uh, using uh, the the flyout menu of the panel. So here uh, you have the, the tool uh, tool presets, but you could also just jump in the tool presets there. Uh, I already have uh, the tool preset loaded there, but here you can find simply uh, your tool preset. So just take a look at the menu and just click on that, and you you could append to your uh, existing list of tool because if you don't want to replace, clicking there you replace your tool. Clicking there you add my tools uh, to your tool uh, tool set. So here already there, but just. Just be aware about that. Be aware about also one limitation. When you uh, want to, uh, um, you know, to uh, to choose some different tool uh, regarding the tool you already have. For example, here the move tool. If you want to to click on that, that if you have that selected, that that will doesn't work. You you will have a warning. So just uncheck this box, and now you can switch one tool from another really quickly using this button. So here, uh, that was the, uh, the, the reminder. Uh, and also, if you want, because for example, here, 
The pencil tool is uh, set, in, set up uh, on one pixel only. Perhaps in your kind of, of drawing, you want another settings, or perhaps you want another tool that could be, for example, the, the real uh, brush tool. Uh, so you can override my tool just by, you know, uh, um, do what you want, uh, do, do your, your settings, what you want, for example, and just after that, save your, your tool, but rename it exactly uh, like I named it, and now the button will, uh, will, uh, will select your presets and not the preset I give you by default. So you have the ability to override uh, a tool. So that's really uh, convenient. So here, let's start. So now we have our video our color layer, and now time to pick a color. So let's pick a default one, uh, like the face one, and uh, and let's select the area. So the first button there, the first tool preset, is to close if the you, the, the area you want to select is not closed. Uh, but here it's already closed, so let's just use the magic wand tool. Let's zoom a little bit to show you some some details. Remember, in the pixel world, if you want to have a, a smooth line when you unzoom a little bit, uh, because it's based on pixels, uh, square uh, square particles, uh, black and white, it looks like it's a black and white line, but by the way, if you want to smooth a little bit the link uh, optically, you need to add some grayscale parts. So we name that anti-aliasing. Uh, and because of this anti-aliasing, if I fill now with a color, uh, you'll see a little small white line in between the two, uh, the two of her. So that is the reason why you have these buttons there, which mean, you know, expand the selection from one pixel. And if you go too far, you can reduce of one pixel. This button is simply uh, fill with the foreground color, and this one deselect. Okay, because I'm a lazy guy, these these buttons are just there uh, because sometimes you you probably have some uh, specific frame where you need to adjust by yourself the value. But in fact, these buttons are shortcuts, uh, are automation. So if I jump to the the next one, let me unzoom a little bit. I select this button uh, will you know expand one pixel fill with foreground color, deselect, and jump to the next frame. So, here. And now, the second one is exactly the same, but it's like you, you click twice, so two pixels expanding. So, that's all you need to know there. But sometime, uh, I'll come back in a few minutes on, the, on why that could be uh, better to use this, especially if your line is not closed at first. But if the line is closed, you can use the tool preset there, which is the pen bucket tool, um, you know, uh, setting the fill with a foreground color, and, and so all uh, sample, all layer is selected. So you um, you feel where you you see something and not where uh, just as you remember there is nothing on this uh, uh, on this uh, on this frame this frame is uh, is completely empty so without that you select all the canvas so click once and if i zoom zoom there and then me come h hide you, you could see there it's uh, it's tiny because it's not so dark uh, so dark color, but you, you have some gray between the uh, the black line and this. So when you use this tool, you need to click minimum uh, minus uh, uh, minimum twice, and if you prefer, you can say one two three. And generally, you you know you avoid to uh, to have this uh, this uh, issue with anti-aliasing. So if you have close, close part, just click twice or three on it. So one, two, three. Here it's exactly the same. You can see the exposure of this frame is uh, by two frames. So you can just click there to duplicate this frame. Don't need to go out. Uh, here, oh, sorry, come on Z. Here, let's now use this, uh, this small trick, so one pixel with the pencil tool, close your line, 
there. If you use, let me uh, show you something, if you use this tool when it's open, you have this, you know, this chunky uh, look there. Uh, so that was why I prefer to use my button there. So let me uh, click on it, for example, the two there. Oh, sorry, I'm not in the right. Uh, sorry, I need to select first. If I click there and come back here, you'll see the reason why I prefer to use the magic wand to verify if uh, the close part is really close first, and after that, to smooth a little bit the line. So here I'm at uh, I'm, I'm at uh, 360 percent. So that is why we 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 see there the, the the border. But with that, you you'll have a, a pure line uh, compared to the the pen pocket tool, uh, which gives you some uh, you know. Um, uh, pixel, you know, border, pixel edge. So, and uh, now I can use again my pen pocket, and so click several times. Sometimes you need to be aware if you have some details like that, and uh, that's the reason why you have the, 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 the pen brush. You can paint by yourself, you can use the lasso tool and fill and deselect. So, up to you, different techniques. Uh, no technique is better than, uh, than one over. Uh, the better technique is the one uh, you prefer. So um, another tip before jumping to this, uh, to this uh, button, you have the ability in Photoshop, it's a native uh, possibility to set uh, the selected line or several lines, for example, I can uh, multiple select. So here I have only two lines, so it's pretty easy to navigate on it. But if I want to focus only on the color and have more place, because the line, I don't want to, to see the line there, that's not necessary for me, perhaps, you can uh, use Show Set Favorite Clips. And now you still have, if I open there, all your stuff there, but you, you can see only the selected favorite one. If you want to, to, to see all again, you can come to show and all clips. And now that come back to the uh, original view. So that's just uh, an additional tip uh, for you right now. So now I would like to, to do, uh, to, uh, to, to differentiate my shadow. So I can put my shadow on this, on this layer, but I prefer to use uh, this, uh, this button, this button create Another uh, empty, sorry, uh, click twice. Sorry, up. Yep. Uh, an empty video layer, and this video it is on the clipping mode. Uh, that means what I put on this layer, uh, the visibility of what I uh, what uh, what is on this layer is depending of what is visible uh, on the layer below. So let me show you here. Even if I select. An area like that, and uh, let me fill with a uh, with one of our color. Let me uh, fill. So all this is visible on this layer. If I halt a click in between, you can see all is visible. But the visibility uh, of this uh, of this layer have the constraint to what is visible uh, at the layer below. So that's pretty useful if you want to do some uh, some shadow like that really uh, really quickly. Uh, you can also paint the, the shadow. You can push uh, the, the primary color. You can you know mix different color. So you have all the tool you need and you want. But here the the purpose is to use the previous shadow and modify it a little bit to the next frame. So just click on this button and this button will duplicate the frame, the video frame, which is there, at this position and reselect the content uh, with a little uh, um, one, one or two pixels ex expand uh, to avoid anti-aliasing your line uh, after your, your moving and command or control on Windows to, to, um, to switch, to sweat, um, to, oh, sorry, to temporarily swap to the move tool and uh, move your, your stuff there. So you can continue there, move. You can modify a little bit using some tools like that and continue again and again. And when you need, so here, uh, I 
could click on this one that I can simply duplicate if I don't want to reselect this one is just to duplicate the frame this one is duplicate and reselect and uh, and continue to to work like that and let's uh, let's do something like that and let's say okay and again and here it's okay so here you are all the shadow you need so uh, why I prefer to to differentiate the shadows to the color is because it's a layer so you can do the stuff like that you can reduce the opacity of your shadow if you think it's too much and you can for example on this one on this layer add for example some uh, some effects like color overlay on it so you can affect uh, this one like that so you can add some different stuff on it you can change the blending mode darken or you know uh, just the color or stuff like that uh, and you'll have you know a different kind of shadow really quickly and really easily uh, through the effects so that's the reason why I prefer to, to differentiate the shadow and the color. And uh, guess what? This button is if you want to also separate, uh, differentiate the, the light. So you can create a light uh, video layer. So let me just, uh, you know, undo that. And you have some other tool like, uh, like this one to, to push your shadow to create some uh, relief. For example, to, uh, to make some modeling on your shadow. So that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoy this uh, this new version of the panel and this video. So please let me uh, let me uh, let me see what you what you do with this panel, and I will be happy.